Go ahead. Hold on. Grandpa. Yeah. A washer. There you go. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Um, okay, go. Th this was, one one like this was transferred over there to oh. the, not, not to the two wheels. I think it, it was transferred to the front wheels right over here. Oh. And um, when we go down the line, we're going to see, the, well actually this is a step, leads up to the cab right, that's going to be right there. That's a step, but you, but on your step, then I think you're gonna have batteries, right? We'll we'll see batteries on there for them. Oh, that's cool. And I think they opened the door and they just this. Is that how you you move this one to go over there to that part of the line? Yep. You're right. They take it around and it goes right over here and hits really? down the line. And how does it move down the line? Okay, how does it move? Well, we'll find a little roller that pushes it along. A little roller. Wow, look at the we'll find one. tires there's, are on there There's going to be one around here What's that somewhere. big box down there? Yeah, what's that, Ben? Hey, Ben, what do you call that? What's that? I don't know. Well, come on, look at it, and let's see what you think it might be. What do you think? It's a big I think tank. It's a big tank. What do you think that could hold? For fuel. For fuel. Yeah, I it's think you're right. So it's got to have fuel. How many gallons does it hold? Mm, I think about 500. No. Not 500. That's a lot. That'd be right. 500 milk jugs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's, that's a 68 gallon fuel tank. 68. Plus 43 has three to four. Um, uh. And then there's the air tanks, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you're right. From over there, it's got the axles under it, and now they're doing plumbing. Someone's been steady see this on line it. here? <laughs> and you can see the lines. The oh, wow, yeah. And they're putting the air tanks on, and then they're going to plumb all of the airlines. You got to run all those, and they'll and plumb all of the fuel lines. That is cool. And they're all color coordinated too. And so too. air and fuel has to be plumbed up to yeah, the front and to the brake pedal valve and everything, which is how you put air to the brakes. It's pretty nice. They keep it nice and clean in here. And here's batteries. Oh my. Yeah. And it takes six of those to operate the truck. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. From here to there, that's so much batteries. Yeah. Yeah. And that put the batteries in. Now you see the truck over there with batteries in that box. That is the lift pump and lift pump reservoir because these are tilt cabs oh. and we have to run the cab up by lift cylinders and that the, the, creates the hydraulic energy to raise the cab. Yeah, I've seen that where they go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now when we've seen that drag link over there, mm -hmm. laying on that frame, there's the, there is the drag link that steers it. It hooks onto the steering gear here and the steering arm and that's what turns the truck. Cool. Well, then here's all your straps to hold all your... Yeah. And see, they got to pull up. these over here. They'll pull this out, start pulling line off, and plumb it. There's all the rolls of tubing to plumb it. It's only, it's like our craft room, only much larger. And it's not pretty ribbon. <laughs> but it is pretty. I don't know. Lots of colors. Because they want you to go slow with it. <laughs> 
There's no significance. Ooh, there's, there's the engine.